Hi there, students. Bastion. Bastion. A bastion. A countable noun. OK, the basic meaning of a bastion. This is part of um, a castle or a fortification where part of it comes out from the wall. And this is like a strong point uh, for a fortification, for a rampart. Yeah, so a bastion, uh, a well-fortified position, but, well, that's rather technical. Um, we use a bastion in English to talk about um, an organisation, a group, a thing, a concept that defends some principle very strongly. So, I don't know, um, justice is a bastion of democracy or freedom of the press is a bastion of democracy it's something that um defends defends it strongly um okay so something that that uh maintains the system and supports it so um, I think maybe the separation of the political and judicial systems is a bastion of democracy because if the political system can influence the justice system then um, well the politicians can end up doing exactly what they like okay so a bastion a protected part of a fortification or something that upholds something, uh, a concept, particularly against neglect or unpopularity. So they say that the British public schools are a bastion of traditionalism. Um, okay, they are de they defend a particular position. Um, they are. Uh, a strong fortification against um, decay. So it's some, a stronghold, a fortress, a mainstay, a bulwark, yeah, a tower of strength. Okay, so yeah, this is something that keeps or defends a belief, uh, an idea, a way of life, particularly when it is threatened or it's liable to disappear. Um, so I, I hope I can uh, be a bastion of uh, s some of the words that are go it slowly going out of the English language. So it's like um, a stronghold, yeah, a supporter. A white knight, yes, a defender. Okay, so an institution or a place that strongly maintains a particular principle or particu pr particular attitudes or activity. So, yes, you could call uh, the Vatican in Rome is the bastion of the Catholic faith. Um, I think maybe Mecca is a bastion of the Muslim faith. Um, so it's, an Im it's important and very effective at maintaining this way of life. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, you, you can use something as a bastion to say that uh, this thing needs to be defended, or you can use it in, in the negative way of something to be that, that uh, is stopping positive sh change. Um, so, I don't know, um, uh, yes, for example, science is the one, one of the uh, last bastions of uh, discrimination. It's very difficult for women to become uh, important scientists. Okay, so it's like a defense. It's like a rock that something is based on. It upholds um, the uh, people. Um, so maybe uh, when uh, an enemy army tries to uh, take a city, and they're almost completely successful. Maybe there is some last bastion of opposition. 
yeah um but yeah the basic meaning is a fortified place uh from that cut, sticks out of the wall and then as to origin well bastion comes from french uh bastion a uh fortification um but also look at the word bastille la bastille in uh paris um this this was was uh, a fortress and uh, well the word bastion comes from this la bastille okay um formality a bastion of this sounds rather literary rather formal i think i'm going to give it a 6.5 in formality you could just about use it in an informal conversation i might say a stronghold or something like that i think probably better in a semi-formal conversation semi-formal writing or something more formal yeah and then as i said comes from french bastion a fortress from old french bastille la bastille um a fortress so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bastion.